This patient uh, has been suffering from the back pain, uh, the mid back to lower back pain for seven months uh, and uh, went to five different hospitals uh, in her country. My name is Amina Mushehri. I'm from Bahrain. Seven months ago, I was in the trip with my friends. I fall down on my back and there was two fractures in my sp spine. So I go back home to doctors. They couldn't cure me. I have severe pain. So I come here with the experience that I have with this hospital. So I come here, so that's the reason that I come to be cured. Yes, when first uh, when she came to see me at the clinic, uh, normally we have a guideline for the patient that come with the back pain. So uh, the most common cause of the back pain, as we know, is uh, the muscle pain. But uh, if the patient has uh, the back pain off and on or continuous back pain more than three months, that fall into the category of the chronic back. Pain. Uh, so we do MRI and we do X-ray to see if there is anything wrong with the spine. And uh, especially for, for her pain, it's not the, the common or mild pain at all. So that uh, I sent her for the X-ray and MRI right away. The way that he explained to me the procedures that he wanted to me, first he explained to me what's wrong with me. Very simple way. Then he explained to me how he will do for me the operation, how he operate for me. So I say for him, do it now. And anyway, uh, the, the MI revealed the fracture and it's not healing properly. That's why uh, she suffered uh, from the pain for seven months. Uh, normally, when you have the fracture, if uh, the diagnosis was made uh, in a proper manner, you will be provided with the, the support, the whole body support. And uh, the bone will heal itself normally within three months. But uh, this patient uh, hasn't been diagnosed properly, so and, and also, also hasn't been treated properly. That's why the fracture uh, didn't heal. The procedure is called kyphoplasty um, with cement injection. It's basically um, the procedure to help for those who have unhealed compression fracture, which comprise only about 20% of all the cases. So the idea is that we want to correct the um, collapsed bone. She has compression fracture, so we want to jack up the compressed fracture up. Yeah. We do this by putting a small tube into her bone using 3D navigation with the computer. With the, with the tube, we have the balloon at the tip of the tube and we, we can blow the balloon to jack up the, the compressed fracture. After that, we will get the cavity in the bone. Then we inject the cement, which looks like toothpaste. Yeah. And after about 10 minutes, this toothpaste will get solidified and get strong and support the fracture. Dr. Whitman, he explained to me with very simple language that I can understand it as a patient, what's wrong with me? Then Dr. Whittleman, he explained to me how it will be the operation, how he will operate on me. So that was the reason that I, we decided as a family that go ahead and do the operation. And she could walk immediately in her room when, when she get back to, to, to her private room and she can be discharged the next morning. I didn't believe myself that the pain after seven months, the pain is gone, nothing. As soon as I wake up from the operation, I said to my husband and to my daughter, I don't have any pain. Like the pain is disappeared completely after the operation. Oh, it's very successful. She was very happy. And I was very glad to, to um, remove her seven months pain immediately after the surgery.